Survey Map fans. So you'd like to make your own Ordnance Survey Map. Well, to begin with, you need to go to Ordnance Survey and you can just Google that. It's a really good website, lots and lots of info on there. Here we are on the OS homepage and to get to the data section, you can just scroll down to the bottom here. Top products, OS open data. Let's go for that. And they've had a big drive of Ordnance Survey to make data more open, which is very good news for us because we get data for free. So if you go to have a look at what's available, we can see what's on offer from the Ordnance Survey. There is a wizard, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go directly to what I want. Uh, you can see here that maps that or data that's open and free has this little tag on the top right. The OS green space is new. I haven't checked that out yet, but it looks pretty good. So if we scroll down to, which one should we do? Let's go to district. Where's district? OS Vector Map District. Here we are. And I've been working in Oxford this past week, so let's have a look at the Oxford map. Uh, as you scroll down, you can see Raster is also available. That makes a good base map. I'll do another video showing you how that works. Um, we've got some metadata here, so some specifications about what the data entails. And right down at the bottom, hit the pink button, free download. This will get you into the open data download area and it actually jumps you to a point on the page so you can scroll around and see downloads for other things as well. But what we're going for is the vector map and we would like vector. So I am going for Esri shape. That looks like the best option. And here you can see the British National Grid is provided for you. And as I was in Oxford, that is SP the square SP. If you do need to find out which tile your particular area falls under, you can use this tile locator map. But I am going to ask for this to be downloaded and I would like grid square SP. There we go. Once you've filled that in, you can scroll right down to the bottom and hit the continue button. And that gets us to a form. So I will fill in the form and then we'll get back to what's happening. Once you've filled out the form, then you'll be taken to this page. It just says, thanks very much. Here's your order. Here's your order number. Please check your email for more information. And it takes around, well, a couple of minutes maybe for OS to send you an email. You'll then get a link, click on the link and you can download the zip file containing your data. So here we are, I've downloaded the data. I am holding it in a folder called demo and OS map. Comes in a zip file, I'm just gonna extract all. Quite a lot of data in there, much unzipping happening. And it's done, let's have a look what we've got. So OS vector map district and it's in Esri shapefile format. SP is our grid code. And there's a README, probably lots of interesting stuff in there. Got some information about the license as well. And then onto the data itself. We have got administrative boundaries, buildings, all kinds of stuff. Loads and loads of shapefiles in here. Fantastic. So let's get into GIS and add them in. So here we are in QGIS. And now for the fun bit, let's add in our shells. So I'm going to go to add vector file and then it will ask me where the source is. So I'm going to browse to that. And here we can see all our shape files. Now you'll note that there's a lot of different files in here, but we're only interested in the .shp ones. Down here in the bottom right, we can actually set a filter. I just want Esri shapefiles.shp. Filter on that and that makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to select the top one, hold down shift on the keyboard and then select the bottom one. And we're just going to add all of them in at once. Go. Wow. That's a thing of beauty. 
Looks more like a bad carpet from the 70s. Anyway, that is added in now, so we've got all the data from the Ordnance Survey from Oxford. And we can zoom in, have a look at stuff. Very nice, the attribute tables are very well populated and detailed. Doesn't look great at the moment though, does it? It doesn't look like an Ordnance Survey map. Tune in again and we will go through the styling. Thanks a lot for watching this one. If you do like these videos, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel as well. That would be awesome. And happy mapping.